For businesses large and small, digital operations technology has become a key driver of efficient production. But honestly, do you still exercise full control over your OT assets? If you are like most asset owners, you probably don't know exactly how many PLCs, RTUs, operator stations, network switches and so on you operate, let alone their exact hardware configuration and software or firmware versions. Not maintaining a complete and accurate asset inventory comes with a price and affects multiple use cases. Just as one example, think about cybersecurity. For many years, asset inventory lists at the very top of the SANS critical cybersecurity controls. Now, while few people doubt the value of asset inventories, why is almost nobody doing it right? The tough technical problem that most people struggle with is automated asset discovery. In this video, you will learn how this problem can be solved. The first generation of OT asset discovery products try to crack the nut by what is usually called passive scanning. In this category, we find vendors such as Clarity, Nozomi, Security Matters and about 25 others. The term passive scanning is a bit technically incorrect as actually no network scanning takes place. Instead, a network appliance sniffs all network traffic and parses it for data that can be used to identify endpoints and traffic patterns. Unfortunately, metadata required for asset discovery is deeply hidden in the wired traffic. Finding the information that can be used to identify device make and model, firmware version etc. are a task as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack and doesn't always yield accurate results. Some vendors sell proprietary appliances, while others allow you to pick appropriate hardware of your choice. In any case, this technology requires that the network sensors digest all network traffic in the first place, which is usually accommodated by port mirroring in every network. Last but not least, there are some technical limitations to passive scanning. Silent devices will not be detected. Software applications and security patches won't be detected with any reasonable level of accuracy. As an example, think about security patches installed or not installed that you need to know about for your vulnerability management. Also, network topology at layers 1 and 2 might be hidden from your view. The alternative to passive scanning is selective probing, which is implemented in products by Langner as well as in those from large automation vendors such as Rockwell, Siemens and Honeywell. Selective probing means that networked OT devices, including network switches and routers, are probed using legitimate protocols and access credentials. It leverages the fact that virtually every relevant protocol in the OT space has capabilities for querying metadata from product identity over firmware versions to location. Examples are Modbus, Ethernet IP, Profinet and DNP3. The same applies to IT protocols used within OT, such as SNMP and Windows Management Instrumentation. As an example, SNMP allows you to discover network topology, which is an extremely useful feature that you wouldn't want to miss without a very good reason. WMI allows you to accurately enumerate all your operating system versions, application software and security patches. Lastly, even proprietary protocols from Siemens, GE and others have specific functions to query metadata and they are certainly used by the asset discovery products from these vendors. There are even protocols specifically designed for the sole purpose of discovering configuration details such as the link layer discovery protocol or the Cisco discovery protocol. In practice, selective probing works like this. Rather than constantly analyzing all network traffic, the discovery solution sends the appropriate probing calls once and then collects and processes the responses. This action is usually repeated every 24 hours. Unlike parsing all network traffic for device metadata, responses to these probes only contain the asset information that we're actually interested in. So not only is selective probing very targeted, it also consumes only a tiny fraction of processing power and memory. For this reason, the asset discovery engine can coexist with other industrial software such as HMI on existing hardware. Let's look at the architecture of our OT-based asset discovery solution. The OT-based asset discovery engine is a software-only product that is installed in process networks. You can also install it on a laptop for mobile use. 
probing is done either on demand for diagnostic purposes or automatically in scheduled intervals. The probing methods can be adjusted. For example, you can limit WMI probes to certain systems or IP address ranges. The same applies for all other probing methods. In a fully deployed OT based environment, ACID data is then encrypted and passed as a file to the OT based ACID center, which usually resides in a DMZ or in the enterprise network. In the ACID center, ACID data is consolidated and made available to users via a web browser. If you are looking for an OT asset discovery solution, consider selective probing as an alternative to passive scanning. Selective probing comes with the following benefits. It detects silent devices. It reliably enumerates firmware versions, software applications and security patches. It accurately maps network topology including layer 1 and layer 2 characteristics and it doesn't require costly hardware appliances. In the next part of this video series, we'll explore the OT-based asset discovery engine in detail.